Hi Sagittarius, hi! Um, welcome to your monthly reading. This is your reading for the month of September 2019, or really any time, right? Um, so hi, where have I been? I've been gone for a minute. <laughs> working, 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 but I'm back. I'm gonna be really trying to get my monthlies out and some pick a card readings uh, from here on out, and please God, don't get too distracted. Um, anyway, um, if you'd like a personal reading, you know where to find my information in the box below. You can also check in the About section on at, at the top of your YouTube browser. Also, if you'd like to uh, submit any donations to me, feel free. Thank you! Yay! <laughs> um, feel free. Uh, you can find that also in the box below. All right, so let's jump right in. Okay, so... Sagittarius, if this reading is for you, already I'm feeling this amazing, amazing... Um, uh, what's the word? It, uh, what's the word? In, uh, infiltration? Infiltration? <laughs> Onset of spiritual powers. It seems spiritual, but also quite extraterrestrially. So maybe you can say star seed, whatever it is that you need to say. Um, but I'm feeling that mixture. I'm getting the color green. Um, so it's very ripe. And so what I would say to you, Sagittarius, is that if this reading is for you, then you most likely have been thinking about or playing with the idea of or dabbling or uh, kind of getting an idea of some kind of spiritual project that has to do with um, uh, energy work. So I'm seeing that there's an opportunity here for you to tap into higher powers. Whether or not you actually choose to be of spiritual service is up to you. However, I do feel that this is a time in your life where you are calling, being called into service or at least being called into like it's being called into the green room, like, welcome, hi, uh, you fit the bill, so is this something you'd like to do? So uh, if that sounds like you, please listen on. And if it doesn't sound like you, if you're like, um, me, whatever, uh, I don't think I can do that. Well, chances are you were um, guided to this video um, because maybe it is something you can do and you just haven't um, made that decision yet. And if that sounds like you, then you, I'm seeing that here, thing right there uh, and then and then my thing just went off as well um if that sounds like you then you should at least stay and listen and uh see how you feel about it and just ask yourself is this something i would like to do not is it something i can do but is it something that i would like to do all right that being said quick message first of all before i even get in wait where should i go here or here uh, too many too many okay here so first thing I'm getting is to trust a plan. Uh, this tells me Sagittarius or, or whoever. You know what, I'm gonna open this video to Sagittarius or whoever. Let me write that down. So um, Sagittarius or whoever, um, I'm seeing here that there is a plan for you. There is an opportunity to have some kind of, do some kind of work or, or some kind of, uh, have some kind of abilities related to spiritual work, energy work. I'm also getting a very Catholic feeling. So for some of you, you may already be into Catholicism. You may already be a nun. I'm seeing a nun, but with powers. If that sounds like you or it sounds like something that appeals to you, or, or maybe there are just some nuns here to be of assistance, then you're on the right path. I'm seeing that uh, there is going to be a breakthrough of spiritual powers, a breakthrough of the divine. Look at this card that follows up. It says reassurance of the golden light. So if some of you are like feeling very much like a person trying to use your wand, but it's not working or just whatever, please know that there is ability here for you. Um, right now, it's just a matter of asking you, is this something that you still want? It's something that you agreed to a while ago. For some of you, I'm hearing that you agreed to it a few lifetimes ago, three to six lifetimes ago. And um, now it's time for that ability to come forward based on all the learning that you've had. And it's time for you to make a decision. So in this lifetime, that's this. If this reading re re resonates with you, this is your time to really go inward and listen to spirit. Okay, I'm going to speak really fast because this <laughs> the energy is really strong, which is always a good thing. All right, so first of all, if that sounds like you, I have a quick message. Quick, but whoa, right? Okay, <laughs> I was only going to have three cards. Um, here's the message for you. Um, right off the bat. Let me make sure this is clear here. I'm sorry about the lighting. God bless. All right, first off, some of you may already be quote unquote dabbling. I don't use I don't like to use that word dabbling. Some of you may already be engaging with the spiritual work that you're doing, whether it's through automatic writing, Ouija, dear God, um, <laughs> uh, energy healing. Some of you may already be working in this field. If you're already working in the field of spirituality and healing and energetic stuff, then chances are you're being initiated into uh, higher 
frequency or into using more, which does call for more protection. I'd want to let you know. So the first thing that they're saying is this, if this is you, be careful of what you're knocking on the door about. So let's say this. Um, Yes, you want to sit there and write automatically. You want to channel. You want to do mediumship. You want to um, uh, do tarot. You want to all these things that you want to do are great. But um, remember that when you start getting into those things, you want to be sure that you're not knocking on a door that's going to be answered by somebody that you didn't intend to. So please know this is going. This is a message about that. So it's about spiritual care. Here we go. What I'm seeing here is is some of you are doing this already and some of you may run the risk of doing this. Trying to open up but not doing the legwork first. Instead of opening up and just getting God knows who, right? Because here's you opening up, God bless you. But here's you on the left card getting God knows who. Instead of doing that, ask for spiritual sight to be your guide, okay? Um, ask for spiritual sight to be your guide. I'm also seeing the sixth here. Your sixth chakra is your, um, your uh, third eye. So ask for sp spirit to help you work with your spirit. Um, spiritual eyesight to be able to see what it is that you're getting into so it looks it looks better to have this situation look where you're opening up and what you're opening up to is yourself you're opening up to yourself and you're opening up to God so that's a beautiful thing now I'm seeing that in order to do that, in, additional, in addition to asking for your spiritual sight, please make sure that you ground yourself. Ground yourself, ground your intentions. Make sure that your intentions are firmly grounded and firmly set in, you know, in stone be below you. That's your foundation before you take off into anything. Uh, they're saying that you should always make sure that you do that because when you do that, look at what you get instead. You get um, somebody who's trustworthy you get a spiritual guide you get a spiritual master you get a spiritual helper these are people who you're destined to work with should you choose the option to do this work don't just go willy-nilly because you don't know what else you're getting if you don't take these steps so they're saying it's kind of like thank you spirit it's kind of like if you want to make a phone call you have to make sure that you're making you're putting in the number properly make sure that you are using the right device all sorts of stuff so that you can actually make contact and connect with the person that you're trying to reach they're saying that what you're going to be doing is team oriented anytime you work with spirit they say it's team oriented and the reason why is because you're in the physical right now yes you're in the spiritual as well but you're in the physical and so when you knock on a door you want to get people who are able to work with you from spirit because they can see around corners where you can't they have abilities that you don't and so the two you guys will be working together they're saying this is a spiritual team effort and so therefore make sure that you connect with your team just don't don't go knocking on doors trying new things say a prayer first always say a prayer first ground your intentions touch your forehead whatever you need to do um, to get in that zone and then you go to the bookstore looking for books and then you go on YouTube looking for readings and then you um, whatever take your first client so please make sure that you're working together they're saying that also um, they're saying to be careful because um, you also need to check in. Thank you, Spirit. You also need to check in with yourself. Just because you're doing this work and you're doing the light and you're working with your guides and blah, 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 doesn't mean that you cannot be breached. So what that means, and not to scare anybody, so don't anyone get all scared, what that means is make sure that you're taking care of your body, you know, you're you're getting enough rest, you're keeping your mood up, your mood is going to determine the vibration that you put out, and of course we all know, God bless, that the vibration determines what we attract to us. So please make sure that you are keeping your mood up, but this card really also warns of in the moment, checking in with yourself. So for example, if I'm doing this reading, God bless, yay, I love readings, it's so fun. Anyway, um, <laughs> like really fun. Um, say if I'm doing this reading, I have to check if I feel like, how do I feel, check in. So if I feel antsy, if I feel icky, if I feel like frustrated, if I feel, you know, um, those are signs that I'm off balance. Um, can I, in my mind's eye, where, where is my consciousness? Is it too much in my head? Am I taking care of my feet? Am I seeing my feet in there? Is, is my willpower up to speed? Am I, like, create the conditions and assess yourself anytime you do work. And don't be afraid to pull the plug. Like, there are times when I'll be sitting here and doing readings, and I'm like, no, I have to stop. I'm too tired, blah, blah, blah. Next morning I wake up, boom, it's like magic. It's flowing. But the night before, it was like, I was like trudging. So um, always make sure that you are checking your basis, right? They're also saying to know that spiritual protection is here for you at all times. Woohoo! Right? Always make sure you suit up, as I say, suit up. 
Uh, make sure that you put on your spiritual protections, say the prayers, do the meditation you need before going into doing your spiritual work. Why? Because that's also a part of connecting with your team. Amen. Right? Um, connect with your higher self and that your higher self connects to source energy and it's all you connecting Archangel Metatron will help you with the Merkaba if that's your path to, prote to protection Archangel Raphael Archangel Michael whatever you need and your guides your higher self they're saying also to make sure that you put love into whatever it is that you're doing um, not just the heart the mind connection but the heart connection set your intentions drop into your heart focus on whatever you do make making sure that you do it from a place of love because if you're not in love you're in fear right god bless and we don't need that um, they're saying a lot of you have worries about your soulmate and about your twin and about this and that and they're saying that you know what that's going to come in time focus on yourself some of you may be holding back because you feel like you need some kind of partnership to do this now that could mean like you think you need your twin flame or your soulmate whether in spirit or physical to help you or it, it can mean all the way into in a physical in the sense that uh, you may think that you need a uh, a uh, financial partner or maybe just there are things that you need I need a new microphone I need a new table I mean look at what I'm doing like I don't even know what I'm doing right now w what is this right I think this cost me like five bucks at Ikea so uh, my point is you don't you may not need all the things that you think you need what you do need to do is follow the steps of protection and guidance and then boom let it go um, excuse the, the pinging in the background I think people are texting me <laughs> anyway um, and boom look spiritual service I'm um, sorry about the lighting. I can't be behind the camera and in front of the camera at the same time. What are we? Why, right? Um, let's see if we can adjust that though. Now it's too dark. But at least spiritual service. Um, so um, some of you again may have been praying for this, may have been wanting this, may have been feeling and edging towards this. You may have. It could have been something as simple as you're up late at night. You can't sleep. You're watching something. A rerun on TV comes up with somebody doing mediumship or just something and you're like whoa i wonder what that kind of life is like that's strange and then you click the tv off and you go to bed it could be anything no matter how small it's possibly there for you okay so um they're saying see how this card in the front is mirroring this card in the back they're saying with that that right now they're planting the seed for you to um get on board now you see that <laughs> it comes together Anyway, so that is, and we haven't even gotten into reading yet. <laughs> that's just, um, yeah, that's information right there. Oh, and again, I'm getting that confirmation. Some of you are star ch children. I don't really like to use that kind of thing. Like, I'm a star seed, I'm this and that. And, and forgive me if, like, you're like, but wait, I am. And I, and that's great, but I just don't, you know, I'm a light worker, I'm this and that. I just don't want you to get too much into the labels. I mean, Yes, there are spiritual contracts that you signed up to do to be these things. And yes, it, it means that you're doing something different from that person. But there, people run the risk of feeling that they're special. And nobody's special any more than the other person. Okay? It just means that, you know, why, why in our society would this be con considered special but somebody working on your plumbing is not? The truth is I can't do plumbing, so that guy is special. And he could be like, I'm special because I can do plumbing. And I'm called a plumber. And I was put on this earth to plumb. Um, you know, like, but, you know, I'm just trying to show you that no one person or thing is more special than the other. So be careful of those special relationships, as they say in A Course in Miracles, God bless. Um, just be humble. Get out of your ego and know that this is just you chose to be available to work in this capacity. And so if that's something you're still interested in, then go forth with that. And if you are a star child or star seed or whatever, please use it for this that information for the sake of mining information about how to move forward and unlock abilities that you have as opposed to using it to create an other situation as a me and the other, okay? Other studies, gotta check it out. Anyway, um, so that's confirmation if some of you are wondering uh, if you have connections. That's great. And I'm also seeing that, uh, yes, if this resonates for you in this reading, I'm shown that this was something that you have planned from before you got here. It's a plan from birth. This is, this is just a time to have it come to fruition. All right, so remember they did say that this is a few lifetimes in the making. This is the lifetime where it's going to be knocking on your door right now. 
and uh, giving you an opportunity to engage. Now, just a quick reminder, if you do decide to engage, please stop whatever you're doing, get down on your knees or lay in your bed or go in your tub and you get aligned with spirit right away. Get aligned with yourself, touch your forehead, touch the ground, touch your feet, whatever it is, put your hands up and say, this, everything I do is for you, okay? And who's you? Spirit, you know, God, higher self, source energy. Um, what, what else do people say? Okay, I, I don't know. Whatever the term is, it's your alignment with something bigger than yourself and something you're accountable to. So make sure that you align yourself that way. When ego starts to come in, you're edging your way out of God's presence, so to speak. Not presence, but you're getting away from it and you're leaving your team kind of behind. So make sure that you always reel yourself in and surrender. Now, before I actually move into the reading, you know, um, <laughs> let me read you what I wrote. Um, uh, very quickly, just a summary of that, but that was just from memory of and stuff. So they said, uh, be careful of knocking on doors because you don't know who's going to answer and what's on the other side of it. So um, this is spiritual advice for you. Please make sure that you keep your practice clean and um, uh, they're also saying that for some of you, you may be you know, doing one kind of practice, um, but it's not necessarily a good fit for you, so maybe you might have to alter things. Now, a, a quick example is this. What if you, pra you practice tarot cards and it's just like it's not the best fit for you? Maybe they're saying you should practice acupuncture or something like that, or, act or practice Reiki, or what if you're into Reiki, but they're saying, well, there's something better that you can be doing, better for you, it's a better fit, and be open to that. I think some people, I've seen this, some people practice Wicca, and you know, I don't know, I'm, I don't know all there is to know, but it has been my experience that the messages that I've had to give about that is be careful, <laughs> okay? And it's not like all Wicca is like that because it's, you know, I don't know. It's just through my readings I've had to give that. So make sure, for example, if you're practicing Wicca or candle magic or just spell work or just whatever it is, please, again, same thing. Stop whatever you're doing. Get down on your knees. Ask and, and be open. What is the best way for my gifts to be used? Okay, and then source energy or God or your guides or whoever, your higher self, literally checks your signature and they communicate with you, your frequency, and then they direct you to the, pl the place and the means and the team and the groups and the whatever that will allow you to have the best impact on this earthly plane because your desire was to be of service. Now, if being of service is to be selling uh, flowers on the side of the road, and then that's it, because you s serve through helping people to smile and, and honor moments of dates and all that stuff, people on romantic dates. But if your service is in this kind of work also, then uh, whatever it is, allow yourself to be open to that message, okay? So long story short, keep whatever you, you know, keep whatever you do clean and let them direct you to the practice that's best for you. For some of you, it'll be a new practice. For some of you, it'll be altering your practice. For some of you, it'll be changing practice completely. Um, they're also saying, um, yeah, so plant your good intentions and, and work alongside good and real spiritual guides and helpers, as we saw that earlier. You can, I'm just summarizing the, that message that I said earlier, so you can always go back and listen. They say always, um, always remember that this is a group effort, but choose your team wisely, of course. Check for bad vibes at all times. What's your mood like? Um, are you feeling restless? They're, they gave some ideas, restlessness. If you're feeling restlessness, you, you need to walk away and go watch TV, watch a comedy, whatever, come back. If you're feeling frustration, frustration, stop, walk away, go do something else, get your mood back up, come back. If your cadence is off, when you're speaking. So for example, if your cadence, like notice I'm talking now, like my, 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 I, I can't even, my, my lips are dry, what am I saying? Um, <laughs> it's coming out very fast because the energy is flowing a lot. So if your cadence, if your cadence seems strange or it just your throat's blocked or whatever, um, be mindful of that. If it's deep and growly, if it's like, you know, slow and weird and thick, like you, you, you should know what that feels like. So right now I know that the energy is coming through quickly. And so I know that I'm on, right? But if I'm slow and I can't connect and I say ever and things are, 
check that, right? Also, ecstasy, not, wait, hold on, hold on, not, not the drug, okay, before any of you start <laughs> either getting excited or not excited, I'm see, I'm meaning trance, trance, um, like getting into trances, getting to ex into ecstatic feelings, let me show you that right here. You're feeling ecstatic, I know that some practices, spiritual practices, rely on getting out of yourself and allowing things in you know you could say channeling you can say working with spirits and invoking all that stuff whatever right my point is make sure to be careful with that if you're if that's not if that's not what it calls for in your spiritual practice then what are you doing you shouldn't be getting into that trancey kind of thing like like be careful that's a, that's a judgment call that's a judgment call because uh, it could just mean that the strength of the spirit that you're working with could be strong but it could also be a sign that you're not in control of yourself at that moment so for some of you I'm, I'm getting you may be doing automatic writing and it may be getting to a point where you're letting your boundaries down right so again vet this process vet your team know who you're working with to the best of your ability um, and um, just just make sure that you are monitoring yourself so if you find yourself not planning to go into an ecstatic state but finding yourself in one and in some trance and then when you're done you've written things you don't even recognize or you just don't feel good or you feel toxic or just whatever please that's another sign they're saying that you are a little bit off and they're saying also protect yourself at all times all those signs may be signs that you need to stop clear get grounded, walk away, and don't be afraid to say to spirit, listen, I'm not comfortable with this, I'm gonna stop for right now, and I'm gonna walk away and get clear for three months. Like, you're in the driver's seat, and they respect you for that, and they understand, because you're, their ability to work through you is only as good as your ability to be taking care of yourself and to be in a state of protection. Some of you, I feel, may be feeling, um, you may be feeling that you, if you, put a stop to what you're doing that there are certain things in motion that will fall now I'm getting a wick of feeling I'm seeing somebody working with um, darker toned things I, it looks a little goth a little whatever and I want to say for that person you like I'm feeling that and I'm keeping that energy at bay but for that person I want you to know and look at this that's funny look at this card <laughs> decision card okay this is for you for that person, um, what I want to say is make a decision that about whether that's the kind of medium you want to work with. Because I'm seeing here that there is a chance that you're not connecting to the light. Okay, You're taking a chance, they're saying. You're taking a chance every time you get into that kind of stuff, whether it's candle magic, spell work, blah, blah, blah. And I'm seeing that here you can actually clear that as soon as possible if you want. Make the decision to be out of that 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 realm because it's a really a realm that you kind of step into make a decision and they said they'll clear it up right away but you have to make a decision with that now I also wanted to say with that um, maybe you have a fear still talking to the same person and if it resonates for anybody else maybe you have a fear that y any spells or any things that you have put in place like that it requires you to keep maintaining that and if you stop that it's gonna all fall apart and I want you to say you should never ever ever and I'd say it one more time ever be doing anything that requires you to maintain a connection like that that's bondage okay so anything you do you give a man a fish and he's gonna be hooked but you teach him how to fish and he's on his own right so whatever you do you need to not create that bondage because that's the kind of stuff that follows you in lifetime after a lifetime so anyway this message is for you um, make a choice of how you want to go with that, all right? Um, because I'm seeing that what has started off with, um, what has started off as maybe a desire to help people, look at this, help people, it's the prayers card, I love these cards by the way, what has started off as a desire to help people with that flame, look at it, it's going blue, it's turning dark, it's getting cold, it, it's showing, I'm being shown that that makes you available to whatever wants to come through. So they're saying that I now make a decision for the light, okay? And once you make a decision, um, it's done. They, they will come in and uh, remove it. It's only the lack of decision that keeps us in certain places, guys. All right, so I'm seeing here, 
oopsies, <laughs> I'm seeing here that whatever that is that's keeping you in bondage, they'll get rid of it, okay? <laughs> but you have to make a decision. And yes, they're saying it can get better because they're acknowledging that you enjoy having these abilities. And again, it's I'm talking to someone in particular here. You know who you are. Now, if it resonates for other people, that means it's also for you. But they're saying, yes, you enjoy having these abilities. You enjoy being able to do these things. And they're saying that just because you give this up doesn't mean that there's not something else, some other way that you can enjoy doing what you do. They're saying, think of it not as a whoosh, slap on the wrist or bad, bad. Think of it as them being just somebody coming saying, hey, would you like to try doing something else? You've tried that. Let's try doing something else. You've grown, you've wisened, you've matured, your energy signature has changed. Let's try doing something else. And that's what they're saying. However you want to look at it, look at it that way. But they're trying to get you guys, whoever resonates with that message there, to change you know, it's okay. Look at this. This is the destiny card. What I'm seeing here in this card is um, the, if, if your destiny is to um, engage with the world and to be of spiritual service using your spiritual gifts, then you are going to do that. But they're saying you don't have to do it with Reiki. You don't have to do it with Wicca. You don't have to do it with um, uh, Ayahuasca. You don't have to do it with um, tarot cards. You don't have to do it with automatic. There are many different things, mediums that you can do. This isn't your first rodeo, so to speak. <laughs> and look at that. You see that right there? That It's even further in the distance. There are other things that aren't shown on this card. So my point is don't be afraid to be flexible, my Sagittarius or whoever, right? Don't be afraid to be flexible. They're taking you back to school. They're saying, they're taking you back to school. Don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to ask spirit. Even I'm seeing some of you here like, oh my God, that doesn't re resonate with me. Like I'm not like doing any dabbling in things that I want to change, but I am interested in the idea of getting more training and other stuff. Is there something for me? Even the answer is yes. See this master artisan here? This is your teacher. They're saying yes, we can open you guys up to different um modes, different mediums, methods. They're saying for this world, there are just many different ways to feed the world, so to speak. Um, you, They just need you to take care of yourself and to be in a place where you can actually be a reliable pillar of light. But when you start sullying your light, you, you flicker. You're not a pillar that they want to um, use as a channel, as a con conduit for the light to come down. It's almost like a little bit of a corruption. Okay, so make sure that um, whoever you guys are, whether you're just getting interested in it, you're already practicing it, or you're on your way out because you're like, I'm done with this, this is not working, um, this is for you, There, be flexible. All right, <sighs> what else? Um, blah, 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 blah. All right, so maybe we can like start over here. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. All right, uh, got it. All right, so I'm seeing that, again, over here I'm seeing Oopsies, excuse me. There we go. I'm seeing that you have uh, already, some of you already practice, right? There, There's already a medium being practice. You got it already. Um, uh, but what they're saying here is that, um, what they're saying here is that they're giving you ideas for something new. There's an idea for something new. Maybe it could be uh, you expanding yourself. It could be you um, taking on new things. It could be whatever. So they're planting the seed for you to have something new. And in so doing and plant, having that plantedness, they're saying here that uh, you will have a chance to choose from a few different paths, right? I also want to make a quick note. As a side note, first of all, different paths. That's great. You're going to have options. Um, I want to make a, a, a side note. So a lot of times people have these abilities, right? And they misuse it. Now, we've talked, I mean, I don't know, if, I can't remember if we've talked about ways to misuse, but one of the ways people misuse their ability is by stepping into the boundaries or the energy, energetic fields of other people, and that carry, without permission, and that in and of itself carries a karmic load. So always remember that just because you can 
doesn't mean you should. It doesn't matter whether you're being paid to do it for an organization or whether it's just something that you're curious about and you're just like, can I do this? Like, um, always remember, it's just like in the physical. If you leave your door open because you just want to get some cross breeze in, whatever, somebody with respect for boundaries and respect for themselves would not... Um, walk right into your door right into your house of course you can say well you left your door open right i know that that's true to get wind but you know a person who is trustworthy and who is in integrity would never just walk into your house if they need to connect with you they would ring the doorbell and they would wait and if nobody comes to the door then they leave and that's it so always remember people and spirits that barge into your energy field whether it's during a reading or whether it's whatever um, you push them out and you remind them that it's not their space so you reinforce boundaries now it doesn't matter what they come looking as they could come looking as an angel or your little cousin or whatever you release that and you just say no if um, sometimes if I feel like the consciousness of a family member or something, that's fine because maybe they're coming for advice and stuff. But if at that time I'm like, no, I don't want that, or if it's a friend, I push them out and I say no, politely but firmly, please call me in the physical. And then they'll call in the physical. So you have to ha start having strong boundaries about that. Because remember, doors are two ways. You can be knocking on it and you don't know who's going to answer it. But also, you be sure and you check who, oh, who comes through your boundaries as well. And make sure that you just have, no, that's not what I'm going for. All right, so that's just a quick, um, uh, a quick message for you guys. Anytime you do spiritual work, you be careful of who you let in and who you invite. And you be mindful of who doesn't observe boundaries. So for every time they do that, they're actively imposing upon the will of another person using their spiritual gifts, and that carries a price. So I just want to put that out there right now. All right, so let's continue. Um, all right, what else? Yeah, to add to that, I also want to remind you guys to empower you guys. And I want to empower you guys because clearly this is a tutorial. Oh my God, this is a tutorial. That's funny because when I was shuffling, I was like, show me the the message for, I will say, show me the message for my Sagittarius viewers for September, blah, blah, blah. And I said, show me the lesson. And I was like, lesson, all right, whatever. So this <laughs> is a lesson. Um, here's the other lesson I was going to say. Always remember... They say that gifts are not things that can ever go away, right? But remember that gifts, especially spiritual gifts, are things that, it's almost like a privilege. They can be taken away, not forever, but they can be withheld from you until you're able to receive it and hold it. So if you truly care about um, your gifts, use it properly, don't misuse it. And if you're wondering, well, is this a misuse? If, if you have to ask that question, the answer is yes. <laughs> okay, think about it that way. Anytime you do something that overpowers the will of somebody else or tries to um, direct the will of somebody else, big no okay now you may say well what about if i'm just trying to you know create the path for the outcome of a, a, a successful outcome for this um legal case that i have well first of all now you're getting into the world of spell work and i know some people might be like i disagree with you and that's totally fine everybody has their own path their own way their own energy their own whatever their own learnings but what i've learned is that no you just because you can do this and do that to ensure doesn't mean that you even needed to do that in the first place instead you look you get grounded you look at yourself and you get clear with yourself what is it that i want to have here do the psychological stuff work because we project onto people so much maybe you just want to be right and that's why you want this maybe you just can't stand your ex-husband so you want him to not have custody because he betrayed you and i'm good right May, whatever it is make sure that you're coming from a place of love and know that in god's time and with god and i say god source energy whatever word you need and know that that higher power has dominion over everything who are you to try to create change in that way you know binding people all of this is not good stuff instead you pray, you focus on yourself, you pray to have your own guidance, you pray to be, a, to approach this in the highest 
consciousness that you can you know you can't control the other people the free will of other people and neither should you seek to because when you do that other people are seeking it from you right it's not right so you put it out there you set your intentions you use your manifestation you by putting love and, and asking God and at the end of the day you surrender and you say I know that you know what's better for me if I if 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 this is not good for me, if this doesn't require me, if this doesn't feel right, if this doesn't agree with you, God, then please, I ask that you take it away and I let it go. Because it's not for you to fix, okay? Sometimes people come to you because they're desperate. And sometimes all they need is a hug and all they need is some cookies and some milk and they need to sit down and they need to be able to vent and they need to talk it out and they need to have things pointed out to them compassionately before you jump in saying, well, what happened? Oh, here's what I can do. And check your ego, right? What are you saying that you can do to help people? You know, real teachers know that you can't fight someone else's battle for them but you can make a, a really good guide for them. Just like mothers and fathers, you know, mothers and fathers who really understand, they understand that most times they can't be on the playground, you know, helping their kid beat up the bully. You know, they can listen to their child and they can give, um, uh, they can give ideas and they can talk it out, but you must seek all of that before you take matters into your own hands in, in, um, in a negative way and sometimes we get into the space where we think we're so right and we're dead wrong so we always like i said earlier get down we ground ourselves and we look up and we ask for god's assistance look at this this guy let me <laughs> okay can you look at it because the lighting um look at this person at the podium he's he's so busy working on doing something but look at all those parchments on the floor he's doing too much you know he's doing too much sometimes the, you, the these are things you don't need to do so sometimes the role that you're going to play in somebody's life is going to be different from the role you play in another person's life just because you have a spiritual ability and you're in touch with energy and this and that doesn't mean that you even are going to use it in the way that you think always think about the the um wise monk um <laughs> the wise monk who also carries a sword a wise monk knows that nine out of ten times he doesn't even need to use that sword it's not you know he uses peace he uses other things and so um check yourself that's right before you wreck yourself <laughs> i guess is what they're saying all right um they're here right into the next thing god bless you ego check your ego they're saying check your ego what do you see when you look in that mirror if you see what do you see? Do you see yourself? Do you see other people? Do you see a, a, a pastoral scene? Like, what is it that you see? Then question it. Question yourself. Um, everything should always go, undergo uh, a method of prayer, as well as some good old-fashioned logic. Also, checking in with your body. Does this feel right? So, look, look at this card. When I see this card... It reminds me of additional learning so spirit is saying that all these things that are being presented to you are um, are for you to understand okay so this is a classroom setting that's you super cute super cute um, learning and healing and getting information from all these people in spirit and and I guess from this reading which is all these people in spirit before you get into this spiritual service you know you can't just pull the playstation out of the box and just play it, it you can and we all do but my point is this is not a playstation <laughs> okay so this is something else that you need to read the directions before you because <laughs> you don't want to take a gamble and 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 mess that up right like <laughs> so they're saying um be mindful all right let's continue wow this is a really long reading actually it's not too long it's only close to 40 minutes okay anyway so let me pause for a sec let's look at the bottom row awesome okay here we go so quick narrative so spirit is saying hi thank you for joining us thank you for joining the team right so it looks like they're introducing themselves to you okay so um so they're saying thank you for joining the team they've given you something of value that's what's being presented in this reading and it's something that you have let's switch over to here Ugh our overarching cards 
this is something that you have in a slept card put into your escrow, so to speak. It's something that you have signed on for in the past and now here you are in this lifetime picking one of the fruits. You are at a place where you have the chance to um, embark upon this spiritual journey. And so they're welcoming you and they will be continuing to make themselves be known. So some of you excuse me, are already in touch with your spirit teams and, so, and in that case you already know them but I feel that you will be meeting some new ones, there will be some new guides coming in. Um, oh, I'm seeing that some of those guides are going to be thrown away. Ooh, they're saying hard pass, okay, <laughs> hard throw away. I was like throw away, what does that mean? But again, I'm feeling here, maybe there's some things that need to be shaken. Oh, precisely precision right they're saying this is usually my card of accuracy they're saying that some of you have been working with some lower level guides that have been guiding you into things that are no bueno so to speak so they're saying that some in some cases some of those guides are being thrown away in some cases you're meeting a whole your whole team and in some cases you're just getting new ones added to whatever is going on now so that's the first thing they're saying hi congratulations and it's nice to meet you although they already know you but you just forgot but anyway um, they're saying um, sit with this information that's coming into you sit with all of it it's going to continue beyond this reading just like it's already been happening before um, and they're going to be bringing that information up I think that you're going to be continuing to meet your team yeah and I think that some of you are going to be meeting your team here in the physical as well. I'm seeing, for some of you, I'm seeing in the autumn, in the fall, maybe around October, it could be October, um, October, November, but I'm seeing around October, you're going to be meeting um, some team members in the flesh. <laughs> I hate that word flesh. Anyway, um, but I'm seeing maybe even into the spring and into the summer. Um, so I'm seeing that for some of you, or at least one of you, this has to do with massage, massage therapy. This could be like the three of you get together or a few of you get together and go in on, a, you know, paying, go in on, a, on an office, renting an office somewhere, and each of you has your own room. You'll get your clients. You'll be working together, building that therapy center. Like, I just see that for some of you. But either way, for everyone, you're going to continue meeting your guys, get guides, getting introduced. I'm seeing that uh, some of these guides are going to be specialized. So one of the guides that you're getting is, okay, I'm seeing that one of the guides that you guys have are here with you already. These are your regular spirit guides, your guardians, your whatnot. They're saying they're here. In fact, let me show you the card because I like to see the cards and I maybe some of you guys too. All right. Um, so see, let's sharpen and adjust the color. See the too bright too bright ah okay <laughs> this is an app I'm using <laughs> clearly all right so this um, this guide here look at the, her hand or his hand that this is this is the guide who's with you all the time thank you spirit they're working with you they're guiding you they're guarding you they're oh they're saying they they direct you they direct you in and out of things away from things so so you don't get into trouble because I'm seeing a tornado I'm seeing t uh, um, uh, tower moments so they're they're the ones that help direct you to steer clear of certain things and whatnot now I'm seeing this guy this is the guide who's gonna be coming in if they're not here yet um, they are the ones that help you to get grounded and help you to take a look at um, the negative things that you're doing in your life so they're gonna be helping you to clean up whether it's going from cleaning up your diet to cleaning up friends and family and and pathologies and whatever all all of that they're going to be doing is helping you to get clear and to clean up all that stuff so that you can get grounded. You see her foot here on the ground? Get grounded so that you can do this spiritual work. And then I think I see this other person here, and I'm not quite sure what that third person is. Maybe it's different, um, you know, the one in the brown. Maybe it's going to be different depending on, on who you are, but she's not coming forward, or this guide's not coming forward per se for a reason. I'm not sure what the reason is. Uh, let me see. I don't know. I think that's the guide, though, that's going to be, thank you, that's the guide that's going to be giving you your powers. Not giving you your powers, that sounded weird, but he was going to help you to activate your abilities, to help you to hone it, to help you to work through it. To, to, um, but she's saying that there are going to be judgments, and that's why she's not coming forward, because she's not coming forward in the in the friend way, like, hey, let's get a slice of pizza. pizza. She's coming forward in the master way, that when you come into my class, 
you're going to learn and you're going to show me before I do anything that you are of the correct frequency and level to work with us and to work with me because they're focused these are people who are focused on getting stuff done and they're beyond the ego so it's not about us it's kind of like listen this is what needs to be done on earth if you're not going to be able to do it then we're not going to be hiring you at this time um, we're going to go onward and, and move with the new recruits and the new other other people so that person's hanging back a little bit and i'm just seeing her exit the card now thank you um she's hanging back a little bit to say that that's a future guide if you can take care of the, the things that they're bringing through to you in this um, reading. If you can work with yourself, if you can get your energy to that place, then they will come in and they will make assessments. So when I say assessments, be mindful that the assessments are not, ne it's not necessarily the teaching. The teaching, yes, but they're assessing first before. So it's gonna be like an assessment before you, you um, get the higher level teaching and the assignments and the this and that. Now, some of you are like, well, I'm already a, a level six Reiki attuned or whatever, or I'm already, I already have my practice and like, what else can this person teach me? So if you, again, if you already are doing stuff in the field and doing things, then the reason why you're drawn to this reading is because you are going to be cleared if you can clear all this they're considering you this is recruitment it's something that you guys said you were interested in before you know lifetimes before now's the time and they're saying hey are you still interested let's see what you can do so if that's you and you're already established in many ways you are going to be uh stepping into a higher vibration a higher level of responsibility stronger abilities more connection i'm feeling uh just co connection with the earth and you know like and some of us i don't know how to explain this because i'm yeah i don't know either but some of us let's use this card okay oopsies <laughs> can you see okay great look at this some of us are using working with natural magic i'm saying magic <laughs> natural magic okay for for those of you using magic um uh some of you are more natural some of you work with water some of you are with the angels some of you are like extraterrestrial some of you are physical therapy whatever but they're saying that for this reading there is and this guide that i was seeing there is the offer to work zzz, a little higher there's a higher frequency that wants to come in. See this? Now look at all that planetary stuff coming in. And we saw earlier that whole star child stuff. There's a canon of information that um, is waiting to come in, but you're not going to just give it to anybody, right? That's, that's craziness. Um, if you give a child, like, knives, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> They're going to put it away in the butcher block? Like, no. They're probably going to cut themselves or, you know. And so, anyway, if this sounds like you and you're interested, know that what is going to be coming in for you is going to be, it's going to be like much more in depth. If you, it's almost like it feels like power. It's like, if I can explain this, and I don't like to say power, because even as I say it that way, I'm seeing this card power right like I just did that and look at the hands <laughs> I don't want to say power because it that carries a certain egotistical kind of um, feeling to it but that's what it feels like power in the wrong hands they're saying is is mismanaged and it's intertwined with ego think of it this way you are going to get the keys to work at a higher level you will have more responsibility imagine that you are working uh let's imagine that you work in an office somewhere you know or something and the boss says well you know you've been really you've shown me that you're responsible you've learned a job you, you can do everything that all the other employees can do you have the abilities you you you're interested in learning you're a quick study you seem to want what the company wants and here's what i'd like to do i'd like to give you the keys to the office uh, in in the or the you know that room that we always keep closed off we handle the money there we handle the plans or whatever I'm going to give you the keys and I'm going to entrust that to you and you can come and go and you can work in there you can have a workspace you can you can you know it's trust all right 
But in that room, they also have things that, if placed into the wrong hands, could be devastating for that person, of course, because the, the karmic, you know, re, the karmic situation is just going to be too much. But also, it's a matter of trust. So they're saying, if this appeals for you, I'm feeling this this Catholic Catholic feeling again. Um, this uh, this another Catholic feeling. So you know, uh, I don't know. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> but maybe that means something to somebody. But I'm feeling that if this sounds like something you're interested in, uh, then you will have the opportunity to um, see these, this cup. These three are coming together, and that third guide. Remember who is not in the fray first. If you focus on getting yourself ready then she will assess are you ready to go to command school so to speak are you ready to 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 be trained to use whatever this is it's all this learning that's going to come in look at god putting that that um communion cookie in it's 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 like the alka seltzer you know the and it's like shh. is that alka seltzer what is that anyway one of those things that <laughs> yeah um it's that it'll be overflowing and you will have ability uh, but you know of course you 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 just allow yourself to be a conduit for spirit to work through then you ask well what do you want me to do spirit and they're like well you you might be like i want to i want to do this and they're like okay we need you to work at this this center and i we need you to stuff envelopes you're like what like I'm just stuffing envelopes. I thought I was going to be doing like level eight healings and what is this? But then you don't know. You, that's ego talking. So once you once you are encrusted with this with this ability and the the, the guidance and the know how, all will be provided for you. You get stationed places, and then you are doing whatever it is that you need to get into position. You might be working there. You might be in a position to meet the people in the staff and staff you may be there for the sake of administering to the people who just happen to be working there because they need to go on and do something big or they need to do something that's going to affect somebody and affect a lot of people and in that case what you're actually doing is being a teacher for teachers later down the aisle but what are you doing stuffing envelopes but you're not actually stuffing envelope envelopes you're holding the energetic space there. Sometimes people get trapped in the elevator with you just for the sake of providing their energy and having that exchange that needs to happen. And we don't even know it. We're just like, oh, dude, I just got stuck in this elevator with this kid who clearly just tagged tagged that, you know, the basement floor with his graffiti. But we don't know that he needed to be in that elevator there to give you some energetic exchange. So we just don't know. And the more you tune into these things the more you'll be able to see that spirit is saying that once you receive this information it'll be like yay congratulations it'll be like a celebration because you will have completed that training and then what's happening yeah then there's the high priestess and this is male female right this is you high priestess the high priestess here is someone who has balanced the light with the dark it's someone who has graduated it is someone who look at her eyes they're closed it's somebody who is receiving it's someone who is patient sitting for orders and i don't say orders because it's like orders you must go no it's someone who's waiting to be inspired what does that what is a, what does an order feel like it feels like an inspiration right it feels like a wow this looks like a cool place let me duck in and, and play with the puppies and then all of a sudden you're talking with puppies and communicating you're like did that dog just say something to me next thing you realize you're a puppy whisperer you know all sorts of stuff it's fun you follow your fun you keep things balanced and you discern and this is what it is it's training this is training that you're being invited to partake in all right so that's that let's look here um let me pause for a second. Okie dokie, folks. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I paused that. I might not have. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, what I was going to say is the bottom here shows me. Yes, I know you guys are like, wow, it's the star card. It's the hope card. It's great. But what I'm seeing here is actually a woman or person, you, um, being cleansed this is a person who has gone through their training see here this is the graduation you are it's like that bath that you take post initiation right it's a, like or even before initiation i don't know there's initiation somewhere in here and, and it's that bath that those ablutions that you know 
and I'm seeing that her eyes are still closed, right? Because she's, this is the new way of life. This is the new way of life where it's all intuitive. It's grounded though, look. It's grounded, it's intuitive. It's taking this sacred bath. And look after, it's being clothed. Whoopsies, excuse me. It's, that's you. It's being clothed. Now this person's giving you the clothing and you're getting on the horse. So this is, this is you post um, this celebration, post this training, taking that, that solemn bath that's so in tuned um, with spirit before you're asked to head out. Um, I'm hearing a question from some of you, well, when is this going to take place? I'm hearing, now I'm hearing, yeah, four to seven months, and maybe the process is going to be four to seven months, or in four to seven months from now, you will have completed this journey, right? Or, or gotten to this place. Now, once you get that clothing on, as we saw down here, boink, I'm seeing here's you ready, waiting to be um, sent out into the world. And here's you actually getting that ride. Now, please, I'm using the words like sent out into the world. I'm using the words like orders. Please don't think of this as something like, oh, now I'm going to be owned. Actually, no, like I said, getting your orders means, you know, first of all, getting this initiation, going through this training means, wow, I'm reading some new books. Wow, I'm getting, I'm having intense dreams. Wow, cool. One day I wake up and I, I just feel different. I love what I do. I'm excited. I feel more in tune. Getting orders means, oh my God, I feel so inspired. Wow, I wonder if I should take a tarot course. Oh, cool. What's this? I should write a book. You know, that's the inspiration, but that's also the orders. <laughs> that's the um, assignment, so to speak. Uh, then when we talk about uh, being sent out, what does that mean? That means something as simple as like, oh, I feel like I need a new job. I feel like, it, or like, hey, I think I'll go to the park today. Oh, I want some Starbucks. I know, I'll go to the park, get some Starbucks on the way, then go to the park and um, I guess just have a good time. And then when you go there, you meet people. So that's what it is. As you make your way out into the world with this new ability, look, you're wearing these clothes, it's great. You're here to offer people, but I'm seeing here, you're not here to stay long. Going back to that point we made earlier, anything you do is not going to be to create a tether to you. If you feel like a tether, no. And that's why cult situations are just a drag, okay? In cult situations, they create those bonds that you can't get out of. My dears, maybe I'm bringing that up for a second here for a reason. Do not think you're going to receive some spiritual... Uh, upgrade by joining a cult I don't care what it is all right don't do it it's you don't need anyone at the center you literally can go to sleep and wake up having dreams and then open a YouTube channel and boom there you are do not join cults and I don't care if someone's like it's not a cult it's actually a place where they get you to know about yourself and this and that and you no 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 we're gonna take a step back <laughs> okay please use discernment do not give up your power for anybody um, now, uh, this is an untethered thing. Now, if you find yourself getting involved in something where you are tethered, where you're still holding on to these clients, you're still getting training from somebody and like, it, it's got to dawn on you one day, like, wait, is this necessary? And maybe if you're watching this now, maybe, and you're in something like that, maybe it's time for a shift. Mm. Remember? <laughs> getting rid of some of your quote-unquote guides, okay? It's time to level up here. So this is a time for you to journey on your own. Use your heart, your mind. Let your heart speak. Use your intuition. Give, give, all right? I'm seeing this now. Is the eight, like eight here. And I was thinking, oh, well, in the four to seven months, maybe in month seven, you'll be out there doing your thing. In month eight, look at that victory, right? So, um... What I'm seeing here in this last card for the reading is that this is you, this cute little lion in many ways. And look at spirit just caring for you. Look at that little wreath. Look at you going out, doing your thing. Um, you can also be this person here being guided by God, right? And just using your gifts for good. It's a victory in the way that you choose to use your gifts. So anyway, um, I am going to stop here. Um, this was a long reading. Thank you so much. Or this is a long lesson. <laughs> spirit, thank you, Spirit. Um, 
another word I got, other thing I got before was car mechanic. Does that mean anything to anybody? Okay, I <laughs> should have said that earlier <laughs> before I got into this. But anyway, um, thank you so much. So basic summary, uh, if you were guided to this reading, then definitely you are being approached by spirit, reapproached, and it's a tap on the shoulder to say, hey, remember you said to meet up with you when you were ready, this is the time. Are you still interested? If you're still interested in finding new modalities to work with, to getting in touch with yourself, being of spiritual service, then please let us know. We'll put you on the right path. But we do need you to clear out some things first. We do need you to get grounded and that you will have all the help you need with that. There are going to be people that we're going to remove out of your life. And you know what? We know that you'll be fine with that because you know that part of that removal will tug on your ego and hopefully your ego will be removed as well. And we'll take it from there. If um, you make it and if you are still interested there's going to come a time when we're going to assess you and assess what you've learned and assess you, you to see whether you have the um the wherewithal the spiritual wherewithal the uh level of frequency and egolessness that we require for this special project that you expressed an interest in doing because we do have free will choice and so if that happens then you will be taken through the initiation process and then you will be sent out to do your stuff okay so you're in the driver's seat on this and that's it <sighs> Okay, <laughs> so thank you, um, Sagittarius, Mwah. I love you. And for anyone else, whether it's Sagittarius or not, if you've been guided to this reading, uh, thank you so much. And again, if you would like a private reading, feel free. But um, if you'd like to just uh, give a donation and in to say thank you, then I'd love that too. Um, either way, I'm just glad that you can get something of value, okay? Thank you so much, bye.